What's up, my friends? Welcome to this amazing day. Welcome to uh, October 12th, 2023. There'll never, ever be another October 12th, 2023. So make sure you ball out, my friend. Maximize this day. Maximize each moment of the day, my friend. It's all about the small things. It's all about your daily habits, right? If you trace everyone's level of success, it can all be measured by how well they handle their daily habits, the small things in their lives, right? So check this out. I just want to tell you today, my friend, I know someone needs to hear this. You, listen, whatever you're facing, yeah, it's challenging, yeah, it's big, but check this out. You got to stop leaving the track after running a bad race. So what you didn't perform the way you thought you would perform. So what you don't feel good about the result. You got to keep running, my friend. It's a marathon, not a sprint, right? So you got to stop leaving the track after running a bad race, meaning you get another chance to get it right. You get another chance to make it better. And the reason you know this is because for the pa in, in, in your past, in the life, in your life living up to this point, all those things you thought, oh my God, this is the biggest thing ever. Life is over. And then after a few months, after a couple years, whatever the, the, the length of time it took, you realize like, wow, I can't believe I've overcome that. That's because life is a marathon, not a sprint. That's where you got to stop leaving the track of life after running a bad race. Stop trying to run in high because you didn't perform or you didn't get the result that you wanted. Stop being afraid to face the people, to face life. Stop being a slave to other people's perception, my friend. And here's why you have to stop that. See, again, stop leaving the track after running a bad race. It's a marathon, not a sprint. But this is what you got to understand. You got to stop fearing your way through and you got to start faith thing your way through faith over fear and here's why because if you fear your way through the situation because you're thinking it's the end of the world unfortunately you're gonna have to go through another situation similar to that and until you prove that you can handle it until you prove that you really are bigger than that situation or else you're gonna continue to have to go through a similar situation until you can prove it because if you cheat the lessons in life, you also cheat the blessings of life. If you cheat the lessons of life, you also cheat the blessings of life. So instead of fearing your way through, yeah, you got through it, but you only got through it in a survivor's mode. But life was created for us to thrive. So until you can get through it and overcome situations in a thrivers mentality and a thrivers mindset and a thrivers mode unfortunately you're gonna have to revisit it it's gonna probably look different but it's gonna be the same level of situation until you overcome it convincingly so in other words instead of fearing your way through it you're gonna have to faith your way through it so if you already been through these situations and you know that okay i know it seems like it's the end of the world but i'm gonna get through this too then allow that, that uh, let that allow you to have faith. Let that allow you to believe in you. Believe in what you've overcome. Believe that you have the remedy to get through this situation on a high level. Again, my friend, life is a marathon, not a sprint. So you got to stop leaving the track after running a bad race. Your past have shown you that regardless of how big the situation is, you will get through it. So you got to start believing you'll get through it because if you cheat the lessons of life, you also cheat the blessings of life. So if you only fear your way through it and you eventually get through it, you're going to have to get, you're going to have to go through similar situations until you can convincingly show that you're bigger than that situation. Henceforth, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. The race is not given to the swift or to the strong, but to he who endures until the end. Be resilient, my friend. Be faithful. Be great.